Um, Minister, thank you very much. I just I want to use the short bit of time I have and commend you and the work and that, those of your officials uh, on the ongoing work that's ongoing. I want to take this uh, short bit of time to maybe raise the concern of nursing homes in the Kildare and Leash area. Um, and that have been raised with me and points I would have uh, made to you um, already as, as well uh, directly is to raise some of the concerns that there are in nursing homes. Obviously, there's huge pressure there that you're aware of, that they're under. There's great work and dedication of the staff um, in what are very difficult times. And from speaking to nursing home owners and managers in my, in my constituency, I know their main issues are financial support, staffing support and recognition for their staff. Uh, the COVID-19 temporary assistance payment scheme has generated a, a, some confusion because there is a short period of time, and I know everybody's working in, in, under real pressure, both your officials in putting schemes in place, the NTPF and the rest, and then the nursing homes. But I think we have to have due consideration, and I'd ask your officials to bear that in mind, the, the pressure that nursing homes are under in trying to manage the issues they have, as well as, as the forms and stuff that they um, have to fill out at the minute. Um, and um, it, it, is, there's that stress you know, at a time where nursing home staff and management are pretty exhausted right now as well as everyone else is um, and working at the pin of their collars. Uh, While well, the main form which is due in today, uh, I have had requests that for form B and C for the NTPF um, to be simplified uh, in as much as possible and to be reviewed to ensure they cover the actual costs of the crisis for nursing homes. Um, the costs of private transitional uh, winter initiative and delayed discharge beds also needs to be addressed as well as the empty beds to ensure the future viability because there's the initial crisis here now but there also is the challenge that we want to make sure we have a viable um, uh, operating nursing home sector in three to six months time and I know uh, nursing home providers are worried about the future uh, for their residents and for their staff. Um, their, hard work, uh, their hard working, caring and dedicated staff also uh, need to be recognised and rewarded and I know in time we would like a way of doing that. Many are sacrificing uh, time uh, with their own families to live and ensure the highest standards. Um, many of these workers aren't on the highest of wages, yet the hours they're doing are pushing them into the higher tax bracket. And I know this comes into the area of finance as well, but I would be very supportive of us looking at some measures to make sure that those people who are working those big hours um, are actually, if there's some way that we can make sure um, the, the higher rate of tax isn't, or that there's some rebate or something could be given back, just to give that due recognition there, because they really are our front line uh, for the nursing home sector, caring for our, our uh, most vulnerable uh, loved ones in those settings, and uh, there are some of the points just to feed back from the nursing home sectors that I'm dealing with. Thanks. Time. Look, I mean, the staffing is a major issue, uh, Deputy Hayden, and I know you've raised this with me. There are three ways we're trying to assist nursing homes, well, four really. One, through the direct redeployment of HSE staff. Secondly, through an agreement that we've reached with home care providers to allow home care staff to be redeployed. That agreement just reached in recent days. Thirdly, to ensure a greater fast, uh, sorry, a faster turnaround time for testing uh, for staff and a priority for that so that the many staff who don't have COVID-19 can get the all clear, if you like, and go back into the workplace. And fourthly, the funding scheme that you reference. I'm very open to extending Extending uh, the timeline for that funding scheme. Um, didn't want to do that too early, though, because I do want people to get the applications in and pay the money out. And we're paying the money out within, within 24 to 48 hours. I'm meeting with Nursing Homes Ireland twice a week now, and um, we've we've provided a lot of clarifications that they asked for in terms of the scheme. Um, we obviously have to have checks and balances, but I'll continue to keep that uh, under review. I've no doubt that there are broader funding issues and policy issues in relation to to nursing home care that we look at maybe in let's call it peacetime. Uh, but for the moment, um, I think the funding scheme, up to €72 million Euro worth of funding there uh, for private nursing homes uh, over a three-month period is substantial. I'm eager that it's not bureaucratic, um, and I think we made some improvements in that regard in recent days.